So how about some PPR team previews to cleanse your soul? And it starts with the Scotties, the Helix Highlanders, D1 champs in 21, falling a little short in 2022. So in 2023, they're thinking much, much higher. Utah State commit Rylan Jesse leading one of the county's top offenses. Dual threat, Kevin Allen the third tank, along with Jason Cisneros in the backfield. And defense, try to score on the likes of Savanea, Kahana Nui, Daniels, Gash, Hosman Lees. That's just the start of it. They're pretty darn talented. Madison Cathedral, they got road games there. Those are hard enough. But everybody knows their season is going to come down to that grudge match against Granite Hills. The Eagles won that in four overtimes last season. I mean, we have probably 30 or 35 returning seniors on our team this year. And so we got a lot of weapons on offense. We got um, Kiza, our tight end. We got two good tight ends. We got Kiza and Gordon. Um, and then we have Jackson Daniels and we got uh, Kevin Allen. And then we got a couple of good um, underclassmen too who are going to help us out a lot. I mean, really just, you know, like our biggest team rule is just to protect the team. So just making good decisions um, on and off the field to like protect the integrity of the program and like make sure we present ourselves in a good way. So I'll leave early January and I'll go to Utah State. Um, so I'm pretty excited for that. It's going to be fun. We're a good team. We're a hardworking team. You know, we're dedicated. I mean, we're senior heavy. So, you know, there's a lot of pressure on the seniors and everything so you know we just gotta just give our all the season well like we always say we always you know just trying to get state but you know i guess only time will tell so i mean in the meantime we know to keep trying our best keep just working hard and then you know only time will tell